अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट ना माध्यम थी जोड़ती कड़ी इतले संधान हेलो फ्रेंड्स गुड मॉर्निंग माय सेल्फ इज मिसेस पूनम बलेरा आई एम बिलोंग टू एकदोसी महिला कॉलेज जामनगर देयर आई हैव बीन परफॉर्मिंग माय ड्यूटी एज अ लेक्चरर इन इंग्लिश डिपार्टमेंट टुडे आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट another type of novel that is called regional novel and especially in the case of wessex novel because thomas hardy was quite well known for his wessex novel i have selected this one because argeris has included this novel in his most selected five novels group so today we will discuss about tales of the overbile written by thomas hardy first of all I will just give you glimpse about or brief background regarding Thomas Hardy then I will tell you some characteristics of uh, Wessex novels and then we will cast a glance upon the applications of this features or all these characteristics used in tales of the Arbobiles Thomas Hardy was an English novelist and a poet actually Thomas Hardy is the name as a student of literature we should not forget that so thomas hardy has enriched the field of english novel by providing us with a number of novels he was born in 2nd june 1814 stinsford united kingdom death in 1928 at dorchester Dorchester was also situated in the UK, and so far as the nationality of Thomas Hardy was concerned, he was British by nationality. This is somewhat different about Thomas Hardy. Sometimes it is believed that whenever any writer is there, so it is believed by the people that he always uh, renders in the realm of uh, writing and writing only. But it was not. for thomas hardy actually thomas hardy was apprenticed to an architect and being architect also he was indulging in the realm of novel writing and he has gifted us a very good kind of novels also he worked in an office which specialized in restoration of the church he wrote about his imaginary wessex but he also stirred up controversy with tas of dear birville and jude obscures uh, in some magazine it was recorded that whenever tas of the arborvilles and jude obscures were become one were become the victim of uh, some stirred up type of controversy or uh, they were not uh, appreciated in a proper sense in that regard so much hardy had declared that he would not write down any novel since that day but it was not so then hardy is known for his original novels especially in hardy's case we can say that another name for original novels is wessex novels because he has uh, created the background of wessex in his every novel our today's topic is tales of the arbor village or its second name is a pure woman faithfully presented this very novel was published in 1891 it was preceded by the woodlanders and followed by jude the obscure So far as the major characters of this very novel are concerned, they are Tess Durberfield, Alec D. Durberfield, Andrew Clare, John Durberfield, then John Durberfield, and Parson Tringham. Now I will discuss some characteristics of original novels, and after discussing all these char- uh, characteristics. our main focus will be on the applications of all these characteristics especially in tales of the arbor village first characteristics of original novel or wessex novels is like that hardy's range is limited within the four walls of his region 
we can say that Hardy was not able to look going beyond from this region. It means whatever he was experiencing living in that region, he was just writing about and about. It means Hardy has not uh, taken any interest to mention about uh, another region or another country also. That is why it has been said that Hardy's range is limited within the four walls of this region. Hardy saw this region not only with a poetic eye, but we can say that, but also with the precision of a scientist, an antiquarian and social historian. So, all these words show us a different kind of point of view taken by Hardy. It means whenever Hardy was writing about Wessex in his every novel, he was not giving them equal treatment. Sometimes uh, Hardy's vision is like a social historian. In some particular novels, his vision is like scientist and sometimes he becomes an antiquarian and leads us to leads us towards a different kind of uh, region revealed in that very novel. Hardy's Wessex is much more than a scenic setting. It means for the sake of geographical setting only, Hardy has not uh, selected Wessex. Wessex marks the destiny of Hardy's men and women. It is quite natural to say that any character remaining in their contemporary background cannot remain aloof from that very background. The same thing was also happening with Hardy and it is quite natural that whatever people are living in Wessex in Hardy's novels cannot remain aloof from effects of this very region. So, whatever the strategies, customs, traditions and other aspects of their region are there. So, we can say that they are directly applicable to the character's destiny, it means their morals, it means uh, going through the effect of this uh, region's characters becomes uh, dynamic more and more. Now, our main focus will be like the task of Dear Berville as a regional novel or Wessex novel. As I told previously that Hardy has selected Wessex as a geographical setting, but here I would like to say that no doubt the same has happened in the case of Tass of Dear Berville, but here also I would like to recall in your mind that uh, here Wessex has not become only the geographical setting, Wessex serves somewhat uh, more, serves as a somewhat more prominent feature, river from the woodlands and uh, another two names, the luxuriant valley and the black flame cones as all these four are give us the suggestion regarding the area situated in Wessex region. Now, this is about another aspects of the novel of Wessex or we can say the regional novel which are found or which which application we can see in tests of the urban village plots and development of characters and etc. The major characteristic in regional novel is about realistic presentation or whatever the writer is going to say about characters must be having a note of uh, or must be having a tone of realistic account. So, I would like to say that we find realistic account of the life of Wessex farmers in test of the urban village. Here, Hardy makes specific reference to the problems of agricultural community of Wessex. These people were workless for a considerable part of the year. Here, we can say that the farmers' lifestyles has become the subject for interest for Hardy. He has given us the minor descriptions whenever we just go further and further, uh, whenever we are to read this novel and etc. No doubt we have not visited Wessex, but if we are going through about the plight and problems of these farmers, then we are able to understand what, which kind of lifestyle was faced by the farmers of Wessex. Here 
Thomas Hardy is quite descriptive and he has given us a very minute descriptions to give us a proper idea about the lifestyle of the people living in this very region. Besides this, they were forced to migrate from place to place. This is also suggestive of the plights and problems the farmers uh, had to had to suffer from and etc. Sometimes they had had to go from one place to another. It means migrate from one place to another, and it was uh, not easy for them to establish their lifestyle in a different kind of region and very unknown unknown region and etc. Test family. After the death of Mr. Derbyfield, is compelled to back at the cottage at Marlow. At Marlow also, their livelihood for girls had to sweat hard for. Actually, what happened? Tess mother had married with the wrong fellow. It means Tess mother's lifestyle was not quite satisfactory with where when she was uh, with Mr. Derbyfield. So after Mr. Derbyfield's uh, death, uh, Tess mother had to. Had to extend his hand for help to his two sisters, uh, who were living a quite rich lifestyles in aristocratic family, because uh, these two sisters had got married with uh, two aristocratic members uh, living in Wessex. For livelihood, the girls had to sweat hard on the farms, but Tess was uh, brought up in the surroundings of uh, poverty, so she had to suffer from different kind of uh, chorus and household duties and other works also she had to search for employment at different uh, different different places and etc so we can include also this topic when we are to evaluate the test of the herbalis as a regional novel Tess is seen sweat hacking and sweat slicing at flinkcomb as so this is also suggestive for hard chorus test has had to suffer had to go through. She is also seen working ceaselessly at wheat threshing. Here, the word ceaselessly is quite important because she, she is aware or she is quite conscious about her that her duty will never end and uh, she will have to work more and more to earn her livelihood. That is why ceaseless word has been used here in a proper sense. The Wessex people believe in a number of superstitions. So, this is also one of the prominent feature of any regional novels. And uh, in Tess of the Urban Village, Thomas Hardy has depicted the has depicted the presentations of these superstitions in different characters, especially John Derbyfield, the most superficial character, belief of the Wessex people regarding milk. And now I will discuss all these examples in detail like this. John Derbyfield is the most superstitious character in the novel. When she is seen with her complete fortunate tallow, Tess has inherited from her mother this trait. It means John Derbyfield was Tess's mother. So, if it is quite natural to understand that if Tess's mother is superstitious, so its uh, effect will be on Tess psyche also. That is why as a result Tess has also become superstitious by nature. Tess too is given to a belief in omens. So, this is one of the example justifying that Tess superstitious nature. Then she fell to reflecting again and looking downwards, a thorn of the rose remaining in her breast accidentally pricked her chin. Her chin is also there. So, this is only suggestive of physical aspect, but in core idea it is quite it is quietly dealt with superstitious uh, nature of Tess herself. Like all other cottagers in Blackmore Well, Tess was tipped in fancies and prefigurative superstitions. She thought this an ill omen. It means Tess was also believing in good omen and ill omen. Now, another aspect of regional novel is regarding 
another kind of superstitions uh, felt by and uh, felt by and followed by the people of the Wessex. They believe that cows withhold their milk in their horns on the arrival of a new person in the dairy. So, we can directly see that it is not possible to withhold the milk in the horns, but according to the point of view of superstitious character, it is possible. That is why all the people were having this kind of uh, superstitious belief regarding the milk and cow also. They yield only when music is played to them. The oxen religiously respond to Christmas hymns. In this way, all the people were taking a number of uh, superstitions even regarding cows and uh, oxen also. Besides this superstition details, Hardy has introduced some more details of the dairy routine of dairy men and dairy maids as we know as a part of our duty, uh, as a part of our duty, our uh, heroine of this novel has to find the livelihood and uh, she has to remain at dairy and she has to do a number of tasks there. So, it is quite natural for her to grasp. Uh, grasp a number of details regarding dairy man and dairy mad superstitious and Tess, him, Tess herself was also the victim of superstitious. Realistic account of life of the Wessex farmer is also available in this novel Tess of the Urbile. So, in this manner also Thomas Hardy has followed the tradition of original novel. Impact of modernism is also visible here. So far as the realistic aspect of this, we can say in this regard that in this novel, the intrusion of the outsider becomes the cause for tragedy. It means the people were used to live in such a way that they could not be able to accept any other strange fellow in their lifestyles. They were used to see any strange fellow with doubt also. So, this is the suggestive of that. That outsider is either Angel or Alec or Donald Farfrae. Another example is like modern machine. Modern machine's example is also suggestive of realistic representation. The modern machine is a misfit in the Wessex background. The Wessex farmer still works in his old fashioned ways. It means they are not ready to accept any new inventory or any new discovery so far as the technology is concerned. They are always feeling very scary and fearful, uh, thinking that if we are accepting this kind of technological device, then what will happen with us? Uh, they will also become fearful, thinking that uh, if we will be victim of this machine and uh, we will also lose our any organ or it will also affect uh, upon us in a negative manner. So, machine exercise unspeakable tyranny over him. As for example, I have taken the example from this novel especially regarding the thrashing machine which was used by farmer, but not in a proper sense because they were used to work in uh, lingering or clinging to only old fashioned rules. For example, the thrashing machine with its black engine emitting fire and smoke is brought to fling comb as where Tess has to stand for hours, her body shaking ceaselessly with its vibrations. So, all this type of odds they had to suffer that is why they would not prefer this kind of machine as a new part and a new element entering into their lifestyle. So, thank you.
अनुसंधान ऑल गुजरात इंटीग्रेटेड क्लासरूम सैटेलाइट न माध्यम ऐसी जोड़ती कड़ी एटले संधान